Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more Find a Subscriber, where I have challenged you to duel my own craft in the skies above Kerbin. We've already met four craft in this gauntlet round. Today we meet the fifth, which means that by the end of today, we will know the name of the first craft that will not be taking part in this season's final. So let's go meet the craft, which we'll be hoping to avoid going into and straight back out of the competition. Today's competitor then is the Grippin or something I don't know. And if you think that's a triumph of craft naming, you wait till you see one of the other ones I've got coming up for you. Anyway, yes, this is by the uh, Milkomedian Odyssey, or Milkomedian of... Why does no one just call themselves Dave? Um, yes, this is a reasonably conventional looking Delta Wing craft with a uh, four plane. It's got a single Saturn engine. Uh, once again, another craft with twin Gal 22s really is becoming something of a standard this season, as well as, uh, as, well as eight Sidewinders foregoing any kind of radar guided missile. As always, I've taken this thing up for a test flight, and yeah, it's a very manoeuvrable craft, can easily go super manoeuvrable, and um, much like the LF-71A from last time, um, for a single engine craft, it remains very, very stable when it does so. As always though, these little tricks are for nothing if you can't do it when it counts. So does the Gripen have what it takes? We start, as ever this season, with a matchup against my SU-47-inspired Redhawk. Let's get them into the air. The competition begins. The Grippins are away very, around very, very quickly. And, as I said earlier, very stably. So I'm not sure what range these sidewinds are set up for, but obviously they're not set up to launch just yet. So the uh, the Grippins will be dodging missile with nothing in response. Um, also, these are some of the cockpits without um, without internals. So we have no idea. I know, I know this is Yosemite Kerman. Because I can kind of remember that from setting it up, but no, we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any little portraits. Now the Grippens get their sidewinders away, and now it is the turn of the Red Hawks to dodge. A lot of chaff coming off there, by the looks of things. Oh my God! Two of the Red Hawks. Yep. One in good health. The other, well, sort of half there. As I said, that's a lot of a lot of chaff, considering that those are those are. Um, hang on. Do they have A120s? I didn't think they had A120s. Have I just completely made that up? Uh, is that a radome? That is a radome. They may. I might have missed. I might have missed. Um. Might have missed some Amrams there. Huh. Ignore everything I said when I was introducing this craft. <laughs> Apparently, I'm blind. Okay. That that red hawk. That is gone. Leg of that Kerman in his Red Hawk. <laughs> He's about to say, still completely healthy. No, no, it isn't. Okay. So a, uh, a relatively easy victory for the Gripen, which I need to go and have another look at because apparently I didn't take a close enough look at it the first time around. Let's um, let's move on. A very impressive first fight there from the Gripin, and I, I went and checked, and yeah, there, there, are, there are the Amrams just tucked under there, where I probably should have seen them. <clears throat> anyway, yes, second fight, the Gripin will go up against my Spike Tail, which has been having a really good run during this season. So the uh, the Gripins have got some work on their hands. Let's um, and let's get this one going. The second fight starts. Now, the Grippens only need to win and have two of their craft um, still alive at the end of this fight in order to uh, to secure a qualification spot, at least for the moment, and consign Steek's uh, CX-20B2. Well, dump it out of the competition, basically. Dodging the missiles that are coming in. The, uh, the Grippens will then turn. Yep, have a lock. Doesn't manage to get one away. Who is this one again? Ion Kerman. I, yeah, I, I, apparently there is an IVA mod I, you can get which will actually fix that issue, but I, I haven't gotten around to it so far. Now the Gripens start to get their missiles away. Clouds of chaff coming out of the uh, coming out of the spike tails. Oh my god, one of the spike tails has gone already. I'm going to put dogfight cam on because I didn't do that with the first fight, and I'm probably going to get comments about it. It looks like two of the spike tails have. Oh my god, three of the so two. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I couldn't count for a moment there. Oh my god, that was impressive. That was, that was, yeah, that was kind of no nonsense. Hmm. So, 
two perfect victories, including this one against what has been my most difficult craft to overcome. And next, this craft goes up against, um, well, a craft of mine which hasn't really been doing too well this season. So the Gribbons may be on course to get the first perfect score of this season, and I wouldn't put it past them because now they go up against my Lynxes, which once upon a time I would have rated as my best... Oh, I forgot to put the brakes on this one. <clears throat> once upon a time I would have rated as my best craft, but um, after the tune-up I did on all my on my fighters before this season, it's fallen way, way down the pecking order. So, um, yeah, with some trepidation, let's see what happens. And the competition starts. We have Steep Carmen in this one. And it's a... <laughs> There's a little bit of perversity there, because this is the craft that's just not Steep's craft out of this season. And this is... <laughs> this is them going for the... Uh, going for a perfect victory. So, yeah. I Sorry, Steak. I'm not sure how you feel about that one. It was just kind of the luck of the draw, though. Um, no missiles so far from the Grippins, although that's what we've uh, seen so far. I will turn... Uh, turn the dogfight camera on. Some of those missiles going close with the Gripen managing to pop a sufficient chat. One of the Grippens is gone. Now this, this could be an upset. This really, really could be an upset. Just two of them. That missile is going close. One of the Lynxes are gone. Oh my god. What is happening? Steve Kerman is just down to a cockpit. I'm just rubbing salt into the wounds now, aren't I? One of the Grippins, the healthy Grippin, who's in this one? It's Skippy Kerman. Skippy Kerman comes around. I think his craft does have it in him to come back from a 2v1. Ah, going for the uh, going for the sidewind. Oh, a little bit of hesitation there in picking a target and firing might have cost him, but didn't in the end. Goes for the old short range sidewinder. Goes straight between the two lynxes though. It's a joust. Oh, nothing happens. Ah. The Gripen, he's taken some damage. Taken some damage. It will not be the season's first perfect score. One of the Lynxes has basically gone. It's into an irrecoverable spin. That's uh, that's a weak point with these um with these Lynxes. Once they lose one of their engines, that's basically it for them. Skippy Kerman goes to finish it off. This should be interesting. Is he going to go for a missile? He is going to go for a missile. It's missiles both ways. And as the Gripen is the last one standing on the vessel switcher, I am going to have to call that and say that is a victory for the Grippens. I mean, by the skin of their teeth. I mean, wow. I mean, does this thing, does this thing even have any landing gear left? No, there's there's no there's no landing gear. This is this is this is not gonna be good. Ah, <laughs> oh, Skippy Kerman. I can't I can't even do an IVA, can I? I cannot even do an IVA. Is there a is there a? I can't remember the keyboard shortcut. No. No, I mean he's doing he's doing pretty well at just just trying to glide this in. This is this is completely pointless. But I just want to see what happens here. About forty meters per second. This is gonna be dangerous. Landed. Nice going, Skippy Kerman. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Not a perfect victory, but a very impressive one nonetheless. Let's um let's go look at let's go look at those final scores. Well, the Gripen or something, I don't know. That is one hell of an impressive craft. Um Yes, made short work of my fighters. And if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with nine kills and seven for survivors, it is tied for top place with the LF-71A Karakara or Karakara, whatever it is. Um, and if needs be, I'll do a tie break on that. I'll just put them, uh, I'll just put them in alphabetical order for the time being. Also, as I mentioned earlier, this does mean we have to say goodbye to Steak and his CX-20B2. A hell of a craft, but... With, uh, with 12 craft in this round, only four making it through to the finals. Ah, uh, yeah, eight of those craft are going to be disappointed. And the competition has been incredibly stiff this season. Nah. Um, my commiserations to Steak, but my uh, my congratulations, at least for the time being, to the Milka, 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 uh, yeah, Mr. Odyssey. Thank you very much for your craft. 
it was very, very impressive. Uh, if you want me to fight your craft, I'm afraid uh, entries for this season are now closed, but I am still doing the regular mailbag stream, so uh, chuck me your craft if you want to see them on screen. Um, getting into a fight against some other subscriber craft that I have been sent. That will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, then please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, great uh, KSP and BD Armoury community on there, and more besides. Uh, all those links are in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little patron Kerbal, like I've been using here. Not that you know it because of the lack of the IVA portraits. <laughs> Um, as well as access to the Patreon only Discord uh, page, um, your name at the end of videos, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.